Good morning. Let's take a look at some sports news now, particularly the CAF Champions League, where Kaiser Chiefs' historic run in the tournament is still on course. This after they booked their spot in the final for the first time. Chiefs face Pito Musimane's Al Ali, who are the defending champions. Musimane is searching for his third title and his second with the Egyptians. We are now joined by former Kaiser Chiefs player Nkanja Kumaro, formerly known as Nkanja Kubeka. He was part of the Amakosi team that won the 2001 Mandela Cup. A very good morning to you in Kanga. I mean, just considering the fact that Kaiser Chiefs is one of the biggest teams on the continent, they had never been past the group stages of the Champions League. Now they're through to the final. Just how big is this for the side and just for South African football? Nkanka, I think your, your, uh, your audio might be muted. If you can just unmute yourself because we can't hear you. If you can just unmute your mic. Okay, sorry about okay, that. Uh, good morning to you too. Can you hear me? Yes, I, yes, can. I can. You can continue. Yes, um, it is a very historic um, uh, game that it was. And um, I must say that um, um, they made us very proud. And as South Africans, we are very happy that um, they've entered the final uh, CAF championship. So it is indeed a very historic event um, to be where they were, you know, supposed to be for such a long time. And now they've made it, you know, we are happy and we are saying we are very proud of them that they have made a history in South African football. And I wish them all the best for the final game against Ali Akhli. And of, and of course, Nkanka, we saw quite a number of young players in the squad this time around. Could that have been the difference? Perhaps they want to prove themselves more? Of course. Um, I, I strongly believe that they want to prove themselves more. I mean, I'm sure that uh, the arrival of Stuart Baxter in, in the technical team will make them to believe, he will make them to believe in themselves. You know, because I've noticed that uh, Stuart Baxter has a great aura in a personality, his demeanor and the projection towards the guys, it's very humongous. So I'm sure that um, he will actually boost the morale and inspire them to even do more and win greater things, you know, uh, mm -hmm. moving forward. So as you mentioned, they're going to go up against Al Ali, Peter Musimani's side. And we heard in his post-match presser, he said that Chiefs are a bigger club in South Africa, even bigger than Mamelodi Sundowns. Are these just typical Peter Musimani mind games? Also, we know that there's a big rivalry between him and Stuart Baxter. He also has um, you know, a lot riding on this game, possibly a third star. But just all the coaching there, how is it going to affect the game? Of course, Pito Misimani is a South African. He has known um, Keza Chiefs for quite a long time. And he knows that how credible are they and their capabilities in terms of like surprising people or, or, or making sure that they can actually um, challenge him. And he knows also how Stuart Baxter as a coach, how is he capable, you know, in terms of uh, knowing the game itself. So... And obviously, Sundowns and Chiefs, where Peter was coaching, they had history. So he definitely knows that uh, Chiefs is capable of um, surprising him. And I'm strongly confident as well that Keza Chiefs um, can play, actually can give um, Peter a huge challenge in terms of making sure that this, that game on, on the final is going to be a very competitive and a challenging game. And... I'm confident that also Chiefs can beat Ali Akhli, you know, and mm -hmm. the gods and the goddesses of Africa. I see them supporting Keza Chiefs on this one. We'll see about that a little bit later on on the 17th of July. But staying with the issue of coaches, we can't ignore the fact that we're going to have two South African coaches on the sidelines when that final comes around. I'm talking about Arthur Zwani as well as Musimani. It's, it's quite a big feat, isn't it, for the South African coaches? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I must comment, uh, just to start with that, I must con comment uh, Coach Atazwane and Muli Finseko on the bench. Although the game was not easy on their side, um, I mean, um, I, I, if I could just mention this, because I heard also the, in terms of the stats, mm -hmm. that uh, 
the the, the um, widowed Casablanca had 78 percent to 22 to Kaiser Chiefs could tell that the game plan for Kaiser Chiefs basically on that case it, it was to defend the one nil uh, goal that they had on, on, on the previous game. So I must say that the game was well executed. The plan was well executed. They, they did the job very well. And I must comment also the goalkeeper. He read the game very well. He was uh, sharp in the goal mouth. And uh, yeah, of course, coming back to your question as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these, um, I think Arthur as well, he's a well um, upcoming uh, coach that I think that also is going to uh, surprise many of us, you know, and is very dedicated on the job. And I'm sure that um, with the inclusion of Stuart Baxter in the team, um, Coach Pito has a huge task to, 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 to fulfill in terms of having to make a huge research in terms of how is he going to approach the game because I know very well that um, Coach Stuart Baxter is very charismatic yeah, and yeah. I love his aura. He's got a great personality and also he has a huge uh, experience in terms of uh, the game as well. All right, All we're right, going to leave it there, Nganka. Thank you very much for your insight. That was former Kaiser Chiefs player, Nganka Kumalo. Former